Hey everyone, we have an incredible, incredible lineup of brand new games coming to the Nintendo Switch this week. It's like the old days in some ways. I mean, we even have a Sonic and a Mario game coming out in the same week. Only difference is this time both of them can be played on the same console, and that's something my 10-year-old self would have never imagined. Now, we don't just have big AAA games to go over. We also have eight brand new indie games that I want to share with you as well. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, and with that, we'll go ahead and get started with Kingdom 80s. This is a brand new game from a long running series, this time they went with a new story driven approach that takes place back in the days of summer camps, bike riding, and Saturday morning cartoons. A mysterious force has taken over the neighborhood and you play as a camp counselor called the leader. You can recruit other kids and assign them different roles to help defend your home and while I think the game is okay, I don't quite think it lives up to the name Kingdom and the lack of replay value does hurt it quite a bit as does the lack of multiplayer support. However, if you're interested in Kingdom 80s, you can pick it up for just $11.99 here on October 16th. The download comes in at about 4 gigs. Next, we have Sonic Superstars, which is an all-new spin on the classic formula that made Sonic so popular and a beloved character for so many kids. This time around, you can join up with friends in local and online co-op, and you can play as a few of the main characters from the stories. The game features fully reimagined 3D graphics with all new special attacks and cool moves that you can pull off, plus it features an all new 8 player battle mode where you can challenge players from around the world. It's definitely a game I'm excited to get my hands on when it releases on October 17th. The price is set at $59.99 and the download is just under 8 gigs. Wizard with a Gun is an all new survival sim type game from Devolver Digital. They do great work and this time around we have a game that offers two players potentially unlimited hours of fun. You of course have to collect resources, craft different recipes, and fight off dangerous creatures that you stumble across. The world is massive though and there are several different biomes to explore. Now they claim to have a massive arsenal of different weapons that you'll be able to craft with special ammo recipes to find as well and it releases on the 17th with the price tag set at $24.99. The download is just under 2 gigs. Now I do want to mention that the devs have been discussing a possible delay on Twitter in order to ensure a smooth launch for the game. We'll have to see what happens in the next few days. Skull Island Rise of Kong is a third person action adventure title with a stylistic art design and it follows Kong on a quest to avenge the death of his parents. The game sort of acts as an origin story so to speak and along the way you'll have to battle through tons of ferocious beasts and of course take out Gaul's minions and you can do this with devastating combos. You even have a full rage mode that you can use to unleash maximum damage. The combat and exploration, while they look pretty fun, I do worry about the performance here on the console and it's not cheap either. You can pick it up on the 17th of October. It's on sale for just $31.99 until launch day. Now the normal price will be $39.99 and the download again is just under 2 gigs. Up next we have Vlad Circus Descend into Madness which is a story driven puzzle game with a dark story about a group of circus folk who come back together several years after a tragic fire closed them down. It takes place back in the 1920s and follows a recovering clown as he struggles to survive through this twisted tale. You'll have to search for items and solve puzzles in order to progress through and there's definitely a lot of backtracking. Now with that said, I did get the chance to play the game for a couple of hours and I would still absolutely recommend it for those that are into the genre or for those that like these retro horror stories in video game format. The price for this one is set at $19.99 and again it releases on the 17th. You'll need about 800 megabytes for the install. Hellboy Web of Word is an over-the-shoulder 3D adventure game, again with a very unique graphical style. It's almost like a comic book in motion, and it follows Hellboy as he searches for a fellow agent that's gone missing. Now while the exploration and cool environments are definitely something to look forward to, for me the combat is what I'm most excited for. It requires timing with dodges and parries, and you'll have to learn enemy patterns as you look for an opening to make your attack. Now I really hope the game can run well here on the console. It's coming to the Switch on the 18th with a download around 2.4 gigs and the price is set at $24.99. Next we have Gargoyles Remastered which takes the original classic from the 90s and then brings it to modern audiences with all new graphics and animations complete with sound effects and sound bites from the original animated series. Now what's even cooler though is that as you play through you can alternate between the all new look and the original 16 bit style whenever you want and the gameplay itself feels true to the original with a few modern day enhancements like game rewind and a few others. 
Now, just like with the graphics, you can alternate soundtracks between new and old as well. And this is another game I'm sure many of you are looking forward to. I know I can't wait to get my hands on it when it releases on the 19th here on the Switch. The price is set at $14.99 and the download is just under half a gig. Next, we have Bish Bash Bots, which is a new multiplayer game that mixes tower defense and all-out brawling action as you team up in either local or online co-op to save the world. Now you can build up your defenses with things like turrets and gadgets or other bots, and they'll help defend your home. The story takes place in the distant future where robots have become part of everyday life, and so we have to set out to reset them after they mysteriously all sort of turn evil all at once and start stealing everything. The game offers more than 30 vibrant levels across 8 different biomes, each with their own challenges that you'll have to overcome. Now this one is set to release on the 19th with a download around 1.2 gigs and the price is set at $19.99. However, you can pick it up on sale for just $17.99 until the 20th. Well everyone, it's finally here. Super Mario Bros. Wonder arrives on the 20th with a price set at $59.99 and this is probably the biggest release for the month for a lot of Nintendo fans. Just like with the new Sonic game, we have a twist on the classic 2D gameplay here, and you can join up with three friends as well. The addition of the Wonder Flower is of course the big news here as it alters the world around you and is sure to hold a ton of surprises for us as we work through the game, and they've made the game accessible for everyone as they have two playable characters that take zero damage. So if you have a little brother or a sister, there you go. I'll definitely be picking this one up as soon as I can and releases again on the 20th for $59.99 and you'll need about 3.5 gigs for the install. Warm Snow is a new action roguelike here on the console. It's been out for a while on Steam and it offers more than 15 hours of gameplay with the download just under 1.3 gigs. Now most reviews say it's a lot like Hades with a Chinese setting and instead of different weapons offered at the start of every run, you kind of choose a fighting style so to speak and this alters the gameplay quite a bit. On top of that, you'll have to beat the game on easier difficulties in order to unlock the tougher challenges, so it also encourages a couple of playthroughs. The combat looks fast and fun, and the game releases on October 20th. The price is set at $19.99. Be prepared for a tough game if you plan to pick it up. Alright everyone, that wraps up the video, but let me know down below if you plan to pick any of these up. It's always nice to bring new games to you all here in the community. As an independent creator not backed by a big company or a massive team, every one of you that gives me a few minutes of your day is truly appreciated. Feel free to jump into the combo down below, and of course subscribe if this was your first time here. Thanks to the channel members and the patrons, with that though I'll say thanks, see you on the next one here at Good Talk HQ.